Guys, November 20 or November 2nd, 2022, we're starting to get our first snow. It's like 38 degrees outside still, but it's definitely snowflakes, so we're gonna go for a ride. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have snow. We have the snow. We have snow. We have the snow. All right, so we're gonna drive into Upper Moon Ridge right now. Look at, look, can you guys see in, in, in front of the lights? Probably not. There's snow flurries, but still it's snowing. Woohoo! It's about freaking time. First snowfall of the year happens on November 2nd of 2022 for this season. Very excited about that. Earlier when it cleared out, you guys, it was pretty cool because uh, it cleared out for maybe 30 minutes in some parts of town and up at Snow Summit and Bear Mountain, like two thirds of the way up uh, to the top was covered in snow. So, oh, it's so exciting. This is so exciting. We're gonna take one of the back back roads into uh, Moon Ridge. So we're on Big Bear Boulevard right now. We just left Hater Brothers and, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Holy moly, I can't believe it. All right, slow down, buddy. I get too excited and then I start speeding. So I need to be really careful. Don't want to total this car. But they're coming to pick up my other Subaru tomorrow and it's going down to a body shop down the hill and they're gonna repair it. The insurance is gonna pay for it and then my insurance is gonna go up about 80%. Wunderbar. Isn't that wunderbar? And I've never had a like accident. I don't have tickets on my record. I don't have DUIs, nothing like that. So I'm surprised it's gonna go up that much, but they said that's gonna be the minimum, basically, 80%. That that it, that it'll go up. It'll probably go up double that. So I'm or not double, not to 160%, but it'll probably double what I'm at right now. I don't know if you guys can see the little flakes falling down, but you guys know, man, so this is the official first snow. Yeah, see, as I said, la temperatura, 38, it's 38 degrees. I don't know why my my brights aren't. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's how you do it. So in these Subarus, when you have your brights on, when it's on auto, it like, it when it spots another car's lights, it turns it off by itself. And for some reason, it must be too light outside for the brights to work. So I, I, I took it off auto and put it on manual. And now we got the brights. The reason why I like the brights is because you can see the snow better, that's all. There's some blue sky up here. Let me turn off the brights so I don't blind this dude. Let me turn off the heat. It's so hot in here. Road may be icy is what my car just said right now. Look, road may be icy on the top right there. When I was driving earlier, someone like triple taked as they were looking at me. <laughs> it's so funny because like, like I'm, I'm getting well known up here and it's really, really weird. And not as much from the locals as it is from the tourists. So that's kind of cool. I can still be anonymous in, in my town when, when we're not having snowstorms, but it, it's, I'm telling you, it's a really cool feeling to like, yeah, obviously I don't have that many subscribers and, 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 and I never ask you guys to subscribe. I just love what I do. And I want you guys to love it too. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm just, I'm blessed. Let's put it that way, I'm super blessed. Yeah, I, I can't believe this actually. Okay, let's uh, pop the brights on, there we go. People look at me and a lot of times they're like, hey, are you the YouTube guy? <laughs> so cool. It really is so cool. But yeah, we're getting some schnee, some schnee. Schnee, schnee. It's coming down a little bit more. Coming down a little heavier, I'm trying to... Okay, so these clouds are moving in the direction I want them to go, which is from this direction to that direction, because we are going to be headed up. Spoon Ridge. Spoon Ridge. Let it snow in neck and then, baby. All right, there we go. I 
it's not much but this is what i do you guys any change of weather i am out here loving it kicking arse and taking names for y'all and uh yeah a couple people sent me donations like the past month and you guys, I've been, I am so sorry. It's, it's been so hectic for me. I didn't get to make any videos for them. And I am really, really, really sorry about that. Um, like really, really, really sorry about that. I think Mary and, uh, Josh Hahn and, um, a couple other people. So thank you guys a ton. Like, thank you guys a ton, especially in the situation I am in right now. Like <laughs> it may not have been smart to get this car, but I wouldn't have really done it if if i didn't think you know there was a way so i think there is a way and just thank you guys for all the love and support i'm keeping my eyes on the road you don't have to get mad at me anymore mr car all right here we go starting to head up we're on butte Gosh, this car has so much power. It's got a turbo in it and everything. Compared to my other Subaru, geez, this is like a Ferrari. My other Subaru, like I could walk faster than that thing picks up speed. I am watching the road. Like it's like, keep your eyes on the road, keep your eyes on the road. Thank you. You stupid car. I hope you guys can see the snowflakes coming down. I'm gonna roll down the window real quickly, even though I don't wanna dirty up the inside of the car with dust. I, I know that's all gonna change. You guys saw the inside of my other car, an absolute mess. Amazing, amazing experience it is to live up here. Half the year though, I'm super, super bummed because it's, it's, it's too quiet up here. But then again, I've become an introvert over the years and I am married now. But I like it when we do get a lot of people up here, all of you guys up here and get these snowstorms and just give you guys a chance to get the heck away from your real lives, man. You know, just get the heck out of there. All right, so we're gonna go the long way around. Usually I would turn right here on Wolf, but we're gonna stay on Villa Grove. And take this all the way around. Driver monitoring system disabled. Why, why is that? Is it, are, are you so mad at me now? Like, are you so upset with me that I'm supposedly not keeping my eyes on the road, Mr. Subaru? Actually misses super roof, I should say. 35 degrees up here, by the way, you guys. I don't know why this phone has a hard time focusing in. This isn't the phone I've been using for the other videos earlier today because when I left to go to Stater Brothers, there wasn't any snow, but right when I walked in, literally I saw one snowflake. And so I turned around and uh, left Stater and I'll go back to Stater later. I'm a poet and didn't know it. And I'm a comedian apparently too. The only funny thing about me is when I look in the mirror, I can't stop laughing. It's hilarious. Oh, rock. All right. Oh, uh, this is great. This is great. Oh, this is, this is a big turn right here. This turn's kind of gotten me a little uh, in trouble before you don't realize how sharp it's gonna be see that it's it's, it's not a turn it's it's just it, it's the road curving around so forgive me it's what you do. I'm, I'm I'm a little bit sad though because when I played some music before some people didn't didn't like me playing music I mean it made me happy at the same time that you guys don't get super annoyed with me talking the whole time but I really feel like you're all here with me whenever I hit the record button it's just 
a flip switches. <laughs> a switch flips. <laughs> oh my gosh. And guys, I'm nine years clean off of alcohol. So I don't know why I make these freaking mistakes with my words, but maybe it's just all the years that I damaged myself from using substances. But you know what? I'm going to try to change it from, from 4K 60 FPS to 4K 30 FPS because it's a lot brighter with the 30. So hang on a second. Let me, uh, I'm going to have to stop it and start a, start a new video. Hang on. Look at that. That's so much better. So I'm still learning how to use these cameras, you guys. I'm still learning. Hopefully the video will come together okay. Hopefully it'll let me do the, the two different FPSs, the frames per second. Wow, they're already getting some accumulation up here. I, I mean, not accumulation, but it's sticking. Like over here on the left, I saw some snow sticking. So keep keep your eyes out over here, guys, to the left. Look, look, see it? My phone cord is not that long, but yeah, we got some snow sticking up here in Upper Moon Ridge. Yeehaw! As I said, I'm really worried about taking my car through Moonloaf. So when my other Subaru gets fixed, it'll it'll be back before the next storm. So, well, next weekend we could get another storm, guys. So hopefully. It's not soup. Well, I mean, of course, I hope it's massive. Just a blizzard like crazy, but uh, not in this car because I don't want to take this through Moonloaf. I, I really want to be careful with this car, but I promise you guys, I'll be charging everywhere through Big Bear, just not that road. At least that's what I say now. I'll probably change my mind. Yeah, look at the snow. Look at the clouds. My new car has 171 miles on it now. So I've been driving about 55 miles per day. I do a lot of driving. I do a lot of driving. So a lot of you know my story and things that I've been through and uh, I somewhat recently had a bit of a relapse on an issue that I had, which was, and I'm honest with you guys, cause I love you guys. You guys are, are my family. And you know, I don't have many people to talk to about this. I had a relapse on um, taking uh, pain medications. That's done with, so don't be worried. But if you guys who have been here for a few years, remember that I almost died a few years ago. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a scary thing, but anyone out there struggling, with anything like that like I, I'm I'll, I'm so gonna pray for you and if there's anything that I can do for you please please let me know um, I'm I'm someone who has struggled a lot in my life with substance and uh, I don't want anyone else to have to have to go through that and especially your families that have to watch you go through that but yeah I did have a, a, a relapse that lasted for about a month <laughs> So we're gonna head out this this way here. All right. Yeah. It was you know like it was your standard relapse, just taking some of those and trying to improve my emotional well-being. And it, it always did in the past, but it's because I was always too, too afraid to face life on life's terms and deal with my issues accordingly instead of having to take something, which a lot of us will drink alcohol and, and do other things like that and take, take the legal way out as a justification. But I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's never good. It's never good. And you know, if you can find happiness somehow then hang on to that with all you can. Really latch on to it and never let it go. And always try to remember what brought you that happiness, how you got there, what you're feeling like in, in those moments of just bliss. 
because uh, it's a very easy thing to escape into into substance and alcohol. It's been it's been a few months now, but since we haven't had many storms to really talk about things, I I didn't want to bring it up when it's not our winter season. But hopefully, hopefully, if anyone is having any issues with stuff like that, and I know a lot of us are, just know I am totally here for you, and uh, and I have some amazing tools and knowledge uh, and ways of getting off that stuff. It's a lot more simple than you would think. It's right in front of your face, but you, it's there's there's not much information about it, which is very sad. Because I feel like a lot of these rehabs, because I've been to nine rehabs, you guys, and two sober living houses. The last rehab was over nine years ago when I, I finally cleaned up from alcohol. Haven't had a sip in over nine years. But I'm not perfect, and I do, I do have my struggles. But everything's everything's good now. I have a very supportive wife, who loves me tremendously. A, a very supportive mom who loves me tremendously. Um, yeah, it's 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 not fun, and it's not an easy way to live. But anything I can do for you, just let me know. If I can do it, I promise you, everybody can do it. anyone can do it all right so we're gonna head back down it, we're in like middle moon ridge now so we're gonna head down and go over by bear mountain and go up that part of the mountain over by bear because it looked like there was even thicker clouds right there but yeah our first snowfall folks And I hope these conversations that I have with with you guys aren't too too inappropriate. Like I'm, I'm, they're my life experiences, and I'm sharing my experience, strength, and hope. You know, I really want to be there for you guys because being alive is much better than the alternative. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're going through. Remember, three days ago I got in a major car accident. My 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 Subaru is messed up. My insurance is going to go way up. And the next day I got a brand new car. As I told you guys, I've been working with a salesman for the past few weeks because my wife's engine blew up and it was just out of warranty. So I, I wanted her to have something because we were spending like 450 a week on a rental car. That's like 2000 a month just about for a car. We, we could have been driving a Mercedes Benz or something, you know? <laughs> but yeah, we are on Moon Ridge Road right now. Um, just to let you guys know the golf course is right here to the right you can't really see it obviously but yeah so that's uh that's what happened and i didn't think i was going to get approved i already told you guys this story i didn't think i would be approved and then they contacted us maybe six hours or seven hours after my accident um, after i found out good news from my insurance company that they'll pay for 30 days of a rental car up to 50 bucks a day so I thought I would, I'd be able to pick something up immediately so I wouldn't miss the storm and, and uh, just miss everything I do for work because I have to drive for my work. Um, my work has nothing to do with this YouTube channel, you guys, just so you know. Um, let's just say I'm in the green industry and not energy. Moving on. <laughs> um, we are almost a bear. The sky is looking absolutely ominous right now. It, it's nasty. It's it's like it's it's like black parts of it. So that's that's good. That is good. That's what we want. This snowfall is only supposed to last a few minutes apparently, but I don't know. I think it might last a little bit longer than expected because it's really thick out here. It's really looking thick out here. Once again, guys, the reason I turn on my brights all the time while I'm driving up here in the snow is 
for for the videos because it it shows the snow falling a lot more clearly and puts a lot more light on it so you can see it better through through the camera it's just it's just like a heavy snow flurry right now nothing nothing special but it is the first snowfall of the year down here in the valley so that's that's great we did get our first winter precip earlier today but it was sleet or some people want to refer to it as grapple I don't even know how to spell that but I don't like that word grapple so I just say sleet If this town was another 1,500 feet up in elevation, we'd hardly ever see sleet. We're just right on that snow line so often. We really are. This is a cold storm. The cold front actually came through before the brunt of the storm, which is very rare for our area. Usually we'll get um, a lot of precipitation ahead of the cold front. And a lot of times it's a lot of rain, really cold rain. And then when the cold front comes through towards the end of the storm, that's when we'll start getting snow. So a lot of times we get like three, four, five inches of rain, which could be three, four, five feet of snow if it was snow. And then we'll get like six inches of snow or something. That is what it is. And right here to the right is Bear Mountain. It's really dark over here, but this is Bear Mountain right here to the right. And we're going up here to one of the employee access areas. so nice i don't have to use my windshield wipers or nothing look at this big ass truck look at that thing jeez guys what if we had one of those for this channel wouldn't that be sick i don't know if you guys can see but we we're way up high those lights way down there that's the i think uh what is that oh that's part of upper moon ridge i believe on the other side of upper of, of moon ridge Wow, this is awesome. I can't believe it's already here. It's already snow season. You know, pull down the window again so we can see part of Bear. So down there are all, all the lights for like the like Bear Mountain and the apartments next to Bear Mountain. Just incredible. Just incredible. Let's get a bunch of snow. Come on. Let's open up for you guys. We want you guys to come up here and infuse our economy with some finances. Temperature dropped, we are at 34. Hope you can see that. Let's see if I put this back on auto. Okay, cool. If I, okay, so the brights are working right now on auto, but when a car comes, they'll shut off by themselves, watch. If it doesn't shut off right when I see a car, I, I'm gonna turn them off, obviously, because I'm not rude like that. I don't wanna blind people, because I know how upset I get sometimes when people are just driving with their brights and just not thinking about others. Happens a lot up here though, so just you visitors get used to that. Don't get too upset. Here's Bear Mountain. Right there. Not much of a view. But yeah. coming up to gold mine this is or no sorry we're on gold mine and now we are on club view drive next to hole number nine at the golf course we'll be passing that right here so the brights just turned on and off again i don't know what was stopping maybe it was the street light i'm not sure still getting used to this bad boy I used my heated steering wheel feature for the first time tonight because I got into the car and I was freezing. Heats up in like 30 seconds. It's incredible. Nice and toasty. It feels so good. Alright. 
I have my seat heaters on. It's too hot, so I'm gonna put the the air conditioned seat part on. Just push that button. Boom! Look at that. It's starting to come down pretty good now. I would say it's changed from flurries to very light snow. Man, it's already air conditioned. That feels so good. Here's the zoo, our new zoo, you guys, to the right. You're not gonna be able to really see it, but we're coming up to it. We're coming up to the new roundabouts. It's nice that we don't have to stop here at any stop signs anymore. You gotta yield, of course, but. And then after this, you guys, I'll probably be going back out as soon as it starts snowing again later on tonight at about 11 or midnight. And catch some of that good snow coming. And then uh, obviously we'll do an aftermath video tomorrow. After that, just so we can see what we woke up to. I'll, I'll, I, I usually like driving the whole town in those situations. I gotta go to 7-Eleven real quick. What do you mean lane departure? I put on my blinker. Maybe a little too late. I don't know. Now we can turn on the brights again. Whoop. Now they turn on. There we go. I have an addiction to these things called Zin. They're nicotine pouches. Because I used to be a smoker and I used to chew tobacco and all that stuff. So... These are, these are just nicotine pouches and I mean, nicotine alone is pretty much as harmless as your, your cup of caffeine every day, your cup of coffee every day. Everything in moderation. It, it doesn't have any of the carcinogens in it and whatnot. And unlike cigarettes and chewing tobacco where the Surgeon General warning says may cause cancer and this and that, this just says may be addictive. weather we have recorded today three different types of weather rain sleet and now snow okay the next stop sign will be summit boulevard if we make a left we would be going to snow summit but we are not making a left we are going to 7-eleven and then that's where the video shall end if it really starts picking up, if it doesn't stop like it says it's supposed to um, in the next few minutes, then of course I'll come back out and give you guys an update because I love doing this. I love driving in the snow. Oops. saw something really sad happen here about three weeks ago you guys I was driving by and someone at pump two was right there was on the ground 
and then a bunch of cops showed up. So we just got here and a bunch of cops showed up on the other side of this pump right here. And they were giving him CPR, CPR, CPR for like 10 or 15 minutes, you guys. And then, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it, it, it didn't go well because when they put the person in the back of the ambulance, the ambulance just sat there. So, you know, God, come on. Life is, life is precious, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Do all you can to better yourselves and feel good and help other people. That's what it's about. Life is so much better when you're helping others. Take care. Thank you guys for everything. I love you. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Later.